Hi guys, OB Dave here. It is patisserie week on Couples Bake Off and I am doing profiteroles, which I've heard are really hard, but the instructions look easy, which is a recipe for disaster knowing my level of baking skills. So uh, I'm gonna get into this one quite quickly. I've already measured some stuff out. I'm gonna try and make the video a little bit snappier this time rather than being like almost 40 minutes. So yeah, stay with me and uh, watch some profiteroles being made. Right then, to save a bit of time, I've pre-measured most things. I've got 50 grams of butter here. I've got caster sugar that I'll put in when I'm ready. 75 grams of strong white flour, couple of eggs, double cream vanilla extract. So, the instructions say, I've already preheated the oven to gas mark seven. I need to put butter, two teaspoons of caster sugar in a saucepan with 150 ml of water, place the pan over a low heat, until the butter and sugar have melted, then bring it to the boil, take it off the heat, add the flour all at once and beat energetically with a wooden spoon until the dough comes away from the sides of the pan. So let's move over to the cooker and we'll give it a go. Right, I don't know what the lighting is like here or the camera angle, I can't really tell. It's operating in quite a small space, but I have my butter cubed, two teaspoons of caster sugar, one, two, 150 ml of water, straight in, put on a low heat, that's low. low heat until it all melts. Right, butter has almost melted. So then bring it to the boil, bring it to the boil and then take it off the heat and then all the flour and then just go for it. Back over here, dumping all of the flour. I didn't save it. So I just mix it vigorously until it comes away from the side of the pan. That's looking pretty good. Right then. Leave that for five minutes. Then stir in a couple of whisked eggs. Right, I'm back. It's been five minutes. So it is time for the next step. Beat the eggs in until you have a stiff, glossy mixture. Rinse, bake, uh, rinse two baking trays, but I've only got one that fits in the oven, so it's gonna be stage by stage. Rinse it with cold water and just shake off any excess. Um, two teaspoons, spoon blobs of the mixture onto the baking tray. How thick? Two teaspoons, is it gonna be like a, two teaspoons, spoon blobs of mixture onto the baking trays. <laughs> One eternity later. Right, they're all kind of different sizes a little bit, but and that's okay. They're supposed to be a little bit rough and ready, so they can go in the oven now for 18 to 20 minutes, this first batch. And while they're in the oven, I'm gonna start making the cream filling. Right, so apparently the filling is just fresh double cream, 300 ml. A little bit of caster sugar. and a bit of vanilla extract for taste. Now I've just read <clears throat> that the profiteroles are only good for a couple of hours in the fridge before the pastry starts going a bit soggy, but I've got no choice. I need to get them done tonight and ready for tomorrow, so. I'll just have to live with it. So 
So that's ready, I guess that's quicker than I thought, I've never done that before, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to keep that in the fridge and then it'll be time to cut them open, put some in, make some chocolate sauce, drizzle it on top and done. Right, just a quick one while I'm waiting for those first lot of profiteroles to finish and doing the sauce. So there is cocoa powder, 50 grams of cocoa powder, 175 grams of caster sugar and 100 ml of water. Now I don't think I'm supposed to have added it all together at the same time if I'm being honest, but it was too late. I sort of went ahead of myself. So I'm going to put this on a low heat and I'm just going to stir it and stir it and stir it until it all dissolves and then comes together as a nice, hopefully nice sauce. And then by that time the pizza rolls will be done and it's time to dish out. So I'll see you in a minute. Right then, my first lot are done. So I'm going to get them out of the oven. Have a look. They look pretty good to me. Right, that's the first lot, they've got to cool. So now, repeat the process again with the last lot of mix. Get them in the oven, my sauce is already done. And then I just need to, need to let them completely cool down. Cut them in half, fill it with my mix, and then sauce all over the top, and then we are done. So, yeah, I don't think you need to watch me do that. So join me again when we have the finished article when it's time to drizzle the sauce and do the cream and stuff so i will be back i've already cut these ones in half and i'm just going to spoon some of the uh, cream mixture inside and all that's left to do after that is chocolate which is currently cooling Now they look good. So as soon as the other ones are ready, I'll get them out, I'll cut them in half, I'll repeat this process, and then I will come back when the sauce is cooled enough, and I think I'm gonna go for a dip, and then stack them, and then drizzle the sauce on top. I think that's the way to go. So I will be back in about five minutes. These ones are good to go and dip into the sauce, I think. The sauce has cooled down quite a lot. So I'm just gonna do a few of these while these ones are cooling down, and then I'll come back right at the end to sign off when they're all stacked up and looking pretty good on the plate. So I just wanted to get a bit of this on camera. So there's one. Give it a dip. I think this is the best I've done so far. So once I've eaten, I'll finish assembling these ones and then I'll do a quick sign off when they're all stacked up and I'll drizzle a bit more on top. Maybe put a little bit of uh, icing sugar over the top or something, but we'll figure it out. So I will be back again in a minute. Right then, I'm finally, finally done. Look at that. I'm well proud of these. I think it's the best I've done so far. So I just want you to have a little, uh, a little watch of some drizzling action before we're done. Ah, oh, dirt. All that's left to do, eat one of these bad boys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, African Ash here. It is patisserie week of our couple's bake off, and I have got loads to do, and it's deadly. Super late, uh, a mate stopped in for a cup of coffee and a catch up, which is always nice, but I've left it too late, so we need to get a crack on. I'm gonna get my apron on. I am doing uh, mini cheesecakes with little mini macarons to, macaroons, macarons, to go over the top of them and make them dead pretty, because obviously Patissia is like cute, sweet little sweets, like little mini cakes and things like that. I've got loads to do, let's get into it. So I have 50 grams of icing sugar. I now just need the rind of two lemons. 
and the juice of them as well, along with uh, 200 grams of, well, two tubs of 200 grams of cream cheese, so 400 grams of cream cheese, all mixed in together, and then obviously blitz our biscuits to make the base and melt the butter as well, so that is the rind of two lemons. Now the juice. The juice of two lemons. And then two tubs of soft cheese or cream cheese. Right, and then heat up the butter until melted. It's set between 50 to 75 grams of butter. I went for 60 grams just to kind of have no balance it out. The next step is to mix all these ingredients, obviously the cream cheese, lemon, icing sugar, and a dash of double cream. Adding more double cream if it feels runny or seems runny. Do a little dash. And then my mixer. I am gonna add a little bit of Sicilian lemon extract um, so that it just has a little bit more of a punch in terms of the lemon flavor. And the Sicilian lemon is really nice. So just a little drizzle. Maybe a little more. There we go, that'll do it. Don't wanna over overpower it. And then let's get our mixer going. Keeping an eye on my butter. That looks a lot thicker, that looks better. So I'll go with that. Now it says to blitz my biscuits into reasonably sized chunks to make the base. goes the crumb biscuit. It said 150 grams of the broken up biscuits. Pour in the melted butter. And mix that all in. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's like a biscuit base. Okay. So I've got my mold ready. I'm just gonna do them this size. And it said to push them in. So let's dump some in. I am gonna make so much mess doing this. This spoon. Okay. Okay, then press it down into the bottom. One eternity later. That looks great. Now I've got a spoon in the cream, well, the uh, actual cheesecake mixture. That's nice and thick, we like. Why do I always make mess? Right, those are my lemon cheesecakes all done and ready for the fridge. So I'm gonna leave them to set in the fridge now. Okay, so my fridge is too small. Uh, they don't fit in. Hopefully it's a cold enough night that they will set. <laughs> we need 75 grams of caster sugar, 175 grams of icing sugar, and 125 grams of ground almond plus three egg whites. 
preheat the oven to 160 degrees. Then in a separate bowl, whisk the egg whites with a pinch of salt until soft peaks. So, whip the egg whites with a pinch of salt into soft peaks, then gradually whisk in the caster sugar until thick and glossy. So, you're supposed to be able to put it over your head. I'm afraid to put it over my head. Okay. Yep, that's the meringue. <laughs> right. Nervous laugh. Seriously. Okay, and then I can now start generally, uh, gradually whisking in the caster sugar, and I can also add um, coloring and a extract. Okay, a little bit of yellow. Let's see how that turns out. A little bit of the lemon. Okay, so it said to whisk it until it was thick and glossy. That looks quite thick and glossy. And then I can start doing the next bit. So fold in half of the almond, so 125 grams of almond powder and 175 grams of icing sugar into the meringue and mix well. Almond. It's about half of the icing sugar. Let's see. About there. And fold it in. And this is where we're trying not to knock the air out that we've created. Otherwise our macarons will just be chewy. Then add the remaining half making sure to use a spatula to cut and fold the mixture. Spoon into a piping bag fitted with a one centimeter plain nozzle. Coloring on those in there. Okay. Leave to stand at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes to form a slight skin. This is important. You should be able to touch them lightly without any mixture sticking to your finger. Bake for 15 minutes. Why are we heating the oven now then? It's such a waste of technology. <laughs> like electricity. Technology. Electricity. Okay. Well, let's do it. Okay. Oh, I don't know. So, little circles, about three centimeters. I mean, those are tiny, let's do it a little bigger. Yeah, about there. So now I'm supposed to leave that for um, 10 to 15 minutes to let the skin form. And I should be able to touch them without any batter coming off. So I'm gonna do my dinner, um, let them rest, and then carry on. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so I have let them rest, so I'm gonna check them now. Um, I've also got my dinner brewing away, so if you can hear the pan going, that's what it is. Let's have a look and see. So I'm supposed to be able to touch it with no batter. Okay, so maybe a little longer. I mean, these ones look okay. These ones, I mean, they, they bled into each other, sadly, but I mean, that's, I think that's okay. These maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, 
I'm going to whack those in the oven um, and then do a few more batches and then I have to let them cool and make a cream cheese frosting to go and sandwich the two together and then those are going to decorate the top of my mini cheesecakes which is why I've opted for a yellow uh, macaroon uh, with some lemon uh, flavouring as well but it's getting really late I still need to finish up my dinner and tidy up everything so you guys will get to see the finished product tomorrow when Dave and I do our tasting. See you guys then. Hi guys, OB Dave here. African Ash. Together we are OB Dave and African Ash, but you should know that by now because we're at the end of the penultimate couples bake off, thank God. Almost, this is our semi-finals. We've still got one week of baking yeah. left, which is our finals. Hence penultimate. You're a scientist, you should know words. Just because I'm a science and I can do <laughs> science doesn't mean I know words. <laughs> uh, so we are gonna keep this snappy because we, well, I mean. We're hungry. <laughs> we're hungry, yeah, it's as simple as that. And uh, again, hungry kids waiting for, for those bad boys, look at that. So what do you want to try first? Uh, mine are going to be like super sweet. Yep. So let's I try. say let's do mine first. Yep, let's go for it. Uh, we'll go for that one. That one looks reasonable. Actually, no, this one. <laughs> because the macaroon looks Are a we bit... sharing one? I would say so. They're quite heavy. So it is a lemon mini cheesecake. Yep. With obviously the, ho the homemade with the biscuit base, homemade whipped cream, some sprinkles, and a homemade macaroon. Lemon flavour with buttercream in the middle of the macaroon. <laughs> what? Too much lemon? Your face has gone bright red. <laughs> Did I it's put all right. It? No, I'm putting it on. Oh. That's, that's nice. That's really nice. It is a really nice. Are you being yeah. serious? You're not... Yeah, it is. So you were just pulling my leg the first time? Yeah. You promise? It's very tart. It is tart. It's supposed to be tart. So I said it, the kids probably aren't going to enjoy it. It's a very adult kind of cake again. The macaroon, yes, this is the big thing. Like, so it's supposed to be crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside, but I had some issues with the temperatures again. It was crispy on the outside and yeah. chewy in the middle. Yay! I got the shine. I got that luster, mm. that little uh, macaroon shine. I haven't tried, so I'm going to try a little bit of the cream cheese. That's nice. You can well there. Mmm, <clears throat> that's quite nice with the lemon actually. Yeah, I Don't like it. To that. Right. But yeah, very adult. Moving on. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> look at that. Just go with your hands. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, that tastes like a real profiterole. Babe, that's really good. Oh my God, that cream was lovely. How did you do the cream? Double cream. Yeah. <clears throat> a bit of sugar mm. and just a bit of um, vanilla essence. That's uh, what I did with just, mine, but yours is... I, that's exactly what I did with mine, but yours has got... I don't know, maybe it's just a different type of cream. I don't know, but that is really nice. By far, the best thing I've done in this competition. Mm -hmm. If you got them in a that shop, I agree with. a restaurant, anything like that, you wouldn't question it. Well, the only thing I do disagree with is that chocolate. It does taste quite powdery. You the think? rest of it is absolutely beautiful. I think you just should have bought chocolate and melted it and put it over the top. It's great that you made it from scratch, but you can taste that powderiness to it. It's trying to sabotage me. I'm not. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. <laughs> Besides. <clears throat> oh, I won. You did. Yeah. <laughs> the camera is about to run out, so we, we're being very snappy with this so. one. Congratulations, babe. Cheers. That now puts me one ahead instead of two ahead. One ahead with one to go, mm -hmm. which means if I win next week the final, we are then, in time. then we have to have a tiebreaker. And you guys will be voting as to what we do as a sudden death bake off. I think we've got to bake the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be voted by the, the group. Yeah, but not donuts. If, if I win, or if I win ten, this one tonight, yeah, then I'll be back up to two ahead. So if you want to see more couples bake off, make sure you vote for me for the next two. <laughs> Tonight, well, no, they, they won't be a second death, will they? Because, so if you win tonight, this one, yeah. then that puts us tied, but then there's still the finals. Oh, so right, then really? one of us could win the finals. Okay. Because I'm only one ahead, 
So if you won tonight, that would put us even, but then there's the semi-finals. Vote for me to make the final interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. But that, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm so proud of them. Yours really nice as well. Yeah, very adult. But yeah, you, you've yeah. done an absolute like win with those. They're really, really good. I just would have preferred real chocolate. Yeah, but I made it. You did. You did. You really did. And it's, it is definitely your best fake, other than your pizza, because that was, that was really good. Yeah. Right then, cheers for that one guys. Don't forget once this video comes out, there will be a poll and yes. we'd like you to vote rather than do it in the comment section because yes. otherwise it gets a bit confusing. Makes it easier. Um, but yeah, carry on watching, I hope you enjoy. And then once when we do finish Couples Bake Off. Got lots more content to come your gonna way. It's going to be loads because it takes so long to film this. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> and editing and things yeah. like, and it takes up a lot of our time in the evening. So we really, really hope you've appreciated it and enjoyed the journey with us. I've, I've had a blast. Um, it's been stressful at times, but to try new um, like areas of baking have mm -hmm. been really exciting. It's I been really good. enjoyed it. Well, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. And yeah. the next one you'll be watching is the final. So, yeah. Yes, it is.